Hi, welcome to Times of India's Roads or Anain campaign. Let's meet Additional Commissioner of Police Traffic, Mr. Kapil Kumar C. Saratkar, the officer who heads the Greater Chennai Traffic Police Wing. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, as the officer who heads the GCTP, which behavior on the road annoys you the most? It's young boys, young boys uh, driving, uh, over speeding and doing wheeling or sometimes just racing. Uh, because that shows that uh, uh, they are doing it either without the knowledge of parents or plus schools, colleges also don't have any control over them. Or at the same time, somewhere we are also failing in enforcement. So that is something which uh, actually needs very immediate attention of the whole system. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think it's difficult to enforce traffic discipline in a city like Chennai? With a very heavy uh, population and a lot of uh, vehicles, like almost 60 like uh, vehicles in Chennai city. Uh, GCTP or any other agency tries to uh, bring in that discipline, but what happens is uh, with those resources, we can catch only a sample, a part of a part of them, and there has to be proper um, uh, deterrence after paying the fine. So here, one thing is we are able to catch only part of them. Like daily, we are catching around 150 to 200 uh, drunken driving, mm -hmm. but I'm sure there are more people. But with the available resource, we are able to catch only that many. Second thing is, uh, we are able to uh, register cases against them. Not mm -hmm. I'm not talking about DD, drunken driving under influence, but other things also. So we are uh, able to register the cases, but uh, there is no foolproof system where everybody has to pay the fine. With our efforts, we have increased it and it is increasing day by day, but still there is a lacuna there. So in Chennai city, we know where these uh, DD checks happen, drunken driving checks happen, the usual places, mm -hmm. for example, like Halda and Saida Pet. Hmm. So, uh, we have noticed a lot of people taking D routes to hmm. avoid these checks. Hmm. Uh, what is GCTP planning to rein in them? No, actually it is being taken care. For the simple reason, see on a particular uh, night, mostly DD check we do in the night. Particular night, uh, almost 10 places traffic is doing vehicle check. Hmm. And they, they change every day. Every police station, uh, I mean sorry, every subdivision, generally one point will be there. So, they change actually every day. Okay, maybe in a particular place which is very heavy, where lot of roads meet, you will see maybe every day type of thing. Okay, yeah. and it may not be exactly the same point. So that is one thing. Second, we have uh, every police station has a patrol vehicle, mm -hmm. so that they also do the vehicle check. So it's not that they do at only one point. They themselves, because see, they also know that they have to catch the uh, this thing. So they also uh, with day to day experience, they know where more people are like. There is a chance that particular places we do because there are places where FL2 licenses or TASMAC uh, bars are there. So maybe some places uh, nearby we do them. That is one thing. So that's how we basically do changes. So only to deal with this problem also we are we are going to have something called interceptor vehicles, okay. where the vehicles you know, that gives us today it is done here tomorrow uh, not only today, this particular hour we do here then we do here. Okay, so uh, that thing will be there. So that will add an uh, element of uh, surprise. So, because what you said that problem is there, because mm. now Annanagar, where the trust system is there. Yes. Now everybody follows, because the every, uh, whoever has gone there and uh, crossed, uh, jumped a red light or crossed that uh, stop line has got a chalam. So, mm. that problem is there that people also observe. Mm. Not only people, it is very sad to see that even uh, uh, road users also tell the people that I had uh, some vehicle check is going on yes. to defeat that thing. Okay, so uh, that problem is there. So, we are taking uh, uh, only through this way. And of course, we are increasing the uh, camera reach because uh, again, uh, of course, that also people will know that this place camera is there. This is a worldwide problem again. This is a worldwide problem where there are cameras are also there, people know that it is there. There people try to be disciplined. Thing. But uh, through all these different ways, we will be adding element of surprise okay. and uh, ensure that uh, it becomes more of a habit rather than um, just a, a typical instances. And one more thing you might have heard about these complaints where, you know, cops get hold of uh, drunken driving, drunken drivers right outside Tasmak shops. How hmm. far it is? Ah, this question has been asked to me again and again okay. and I feel there is nothing wrong. Okay. Nothing wrong in that. Rather, I say it is one of the very good strategies because see, we have limited manpower. It's your strategy. Yeah, yeah. We have limited manpower and uh, we have to use it in the most effective manner. And most effective manner does not only mean registration of most number of cases, but to catch people where they are likely to be there. Okay, so that is a very this thing. So, and the person, uh, see, there is not, nothing wrong in drinking at a place. What is wrong is driving after that. Okay. 
Okay. So, whether you catch him within 50 meters of a Tasmac shop or a, or a club or whether you uh, catch him after 2 kilometers, it does not matter. Rather, this is better for the simple reason that within that next uh, uh, 1.5 kilometers, the person does not drive and is not prone to accident. So, I feel I would rather we encourage also, but we tell our officers, do not do only this. Okay. Uh, do not do only this. Mm. It should not happen that we target so much at these places that people are drinking in their home and then driving and you are not. Yes. So, all those things and uh, all these surprises uh, we will like to implement. Do we have a policy or vision in making Chennai a uh, rule abiding city? Yeah, uh, exactly not in the sense that particular policy a government uh, document, but there are things which are uh, happening like for example, the, the efforts that we took for uh, wrong uh, for the helmet mm -hmm. that also is leading to good results. Second thing we also uh, are taking lot of efforts for this wrong side driving so that and then another policy is we want to shift uh, from uh, uh, what we say the interception cases where we actually we catch people and then do the, the thing. We want to keep a uh, shift towards electronic uh, surveillance. Yeah. Since you mentioned about wrong side driving, sir, you said mm -hmm. uh, we are take, you are taking a few efforts. Yeah. What kind of efforts, sir? Because that's a big menace here. So what we do in this type of cases is basically we post people, our policemen. That is one thing. We also request CMRL to post their marshals, so they also put uh, this thing. They have no uh, right to. I mean, the, they cannot register the case, but their presence also makes this thing. Third thing is uh, what we do is uh, uh, our. Uh, uh, wrong side driving for wrong side driving we have this uh, cameras from so we do we have this cameras which mm, specifically yeah. raises at 11 places 15 cameras were there now presently again this 25 cameras are being put for uh, detecting wrong side drive okay. so that is one thing second thing once in a while what we do is we have a special drive when mm. particular that they target all the pe people who are indulging in wrong side driving we see a lot of uh, initiatives being introduced and you know mm, to curb bribery especially like mm -hmm. introducing body cameras and all that uh, but still we see a lot of complaints yeah. from public about uh, corruption yeah what, see, when do you think this will stop or yeah see it has become uh, you must understand that now uh, the watch has increased watch yeah. in terms of everything for the simple reason see now the people uh, one thing is uh, when a person takes by even the person uh, who is giving either uh, knowingly in a planned manner or a sting operation that the person also record that is one thing so we get many com complaints on uh, our including our twitter also mm. so um, uh, and we take it very seriously and it's not that when somebody complains also we have a very good uh, um, internal vigilance system mm. of uh, intelligence section of cd and they watch they watch and they tell basically so we are presently also uh, as you know the, uh, nine people are under suspension Okay. okay. Why we are telling this figure is and uh, not everything was brought to the knowledge by public. So, we do not wait for public many times okay. on our own report this thing and we have very strict uh, policy that we have not even taken back on duty till their punishment rule is uh, complete. So, one thing is that deterrence by taking very, very strong action. Talked about body on camera uh, that we use lot of th times and body on camera uh, helps us both ways. Uh, one is it helps us to keep an uh, eye on our own pub, our own behavior, police behavior and at the same time what the other person does. Also. So many drunken uh, driving under influence cases and the arguments and the fights which happened after that have been captured on that. Okay. So, we encourage uh, using that thing and we are even uh, going to procure more. Apart from that even our patrol also vehicles, uh, we have just given uh, something called a tripod camera. So, wherever they are, uh, wherever they are doing vehicle check maybe in a week or so it will happen, they will be doing only under the eye of that particular camera. Okay. Thank you so much sir for sharing your views, thank you. Thank you, it was a pleasure talking to you and hope that through Times of India, uh, we will reach to more people in, uh, in this by this interview. Thank you. Yes, thank you sir.